Hello. In my previous tutorial, I talked about an application called Versions, which is an application for the Mac that helps you with SVN repositories, both the client side and the server side. In my previous tutorial, I gave you just an overview of the buttons and its functions, but I forgot to actually show you about creating repositories and working with existing repositories, so I thought I would create a tutorial that shows you. So I'm going to start off with creating a local repository. So we just click the button, and I have an SVN folder here that holds all my, S my local SVNs, or even my external ones. So we're just going to call this test SVN. So what this is going to do is this will create the SVN database in this section here. So right here it creates it. So we're just going to click right here and we're going to click checkout. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically tell versions for this SVN where are the working files. If I do an update or a commit, where is it looking to and going to send those files to. So I'm going to go in my web development folder here and I don't need to create a folder in here called test SVN because it'll automatically create it for me. So I click checkout and it's done. So I can go in and you know I could add files and do whatever and like I said if I come in here into my documents in the SVN folder I have the test SVN folder which is basically like I said the database you never ever have to touch this fo this folder but it's important it stays and in web development whenever I would do an update it would send the files to this folder if I would do a commit it would commit the files into here into that database so what we can do here is go ahead and let's click on the little drop here drop down here and let's add a working copy so before I do that because it's a uh, I'm going to click on that folder there because I'm going to add one of my work repositories in here. So we're going to click on Add Working, and we will go to select the folder. I go into Documents, Development. Now, what I did is in another SVN program, this is where I told it to check out the files to. So if I click on Tech Box and hit Choose, it names it. I can hit Create and there are all my files and I can go and it when it submits it'll submit to wherever it is set to go so I'm just going to drag that into my work folder there so that's how you would add a working copy now if you now this add repository bookmark this is for if you need to add a totally new SVN something like you go to a job and they have an SVN you need to set it up uh, you can go ahead and type in the name so you could do test testing SVN and you would type in the basically the URL string that would be the URL string of the of the actual SVN that's set up you would have to contact whoever administrates that server and then you would type in your username and your password and the password does show dots so it's not like it shows something different so once that's done you would hit create and then it would be just like you're doing when we created this test SVN you would basically click over here on that testing and do a checkout so that's basically it on creating your own local repository adding a working repository and creating a new repository if you have any questions or comments please post down in the comments below